What's happening everyone? Welcome back. I am really behind now so I am going to try my best to get caught up on videos. But in the meantime, here's the workout I did on March 15th. So yesterday and it was a bench and t-bar row day. So basically what I did was I got to the gym a little bit later than I was anticipating. I was hoping to get there a little sooner but I made it there nonetheless in the morning and I began with a cardio warm-up on the cross ramp which took 3 minutes and 38 seconds and the reason for that is just simply because I went for 3 tenths of a mile. I went past the quarter mile mark and I just figured I'll do a little bit more and that's really all I needed. I didn't have any reason to go to a half mile. Quarter mile I felt fine, it's just that I just kept going for just a little bit longer so that's why I extended it to three tenths of a mile. From there I went over to the incline bench and started warming up. I did a set of 10 with 135, set of 8 with 185, and here's the 10 by 3 with 210. So 210 pounds, 90 seconds of rest in between sets, and pretty good day. Now something you will notice is I will be putting some very long pauses on the chest. Some exceedingly long and ridiculously long pauses on the chest. And that comes down to a couple things. One, I'm going to be resetting and going back to sets of five with a slightly lighter weight. And I just want to be a little bit better prepared for it. Also, I had a wonderful woman working out nearby and she was doing really good stuff. I like the way that she set up her deadlift, the way she kind of got into position, made sure that everything was tight and together, and then started lifting. My only concern is that she was bouncing the deadlifts and there's a time and place for that. For most people, the first thing you really should be concentrating on when deadlifting is resetting after every rep. So coming from a completely dead stop at the bottom and then eventually once you build your foundation and you're starting to get through plateaus or just looking for a different type of training stimulus using the deadlift there's a technique to that so the touch and goes things like that there's a time and place and there's a way to do it correctly and to the point where you'll actually benefit from it however most beginners who jump into fitness and they see a deadlift and they maybe see someone they look up to or just simply see other people bouncing the deadlifts it's not a good idea, especially in the beginning, and I teach all my clients to reset for at least a second. A full second, you can regrip. I've had clients who will open their hands and then close the hands and then regrip the bar. That's not a bad idea. It'll ensure that you're not going to try to recoil off the floor to get to your next repetition. So the only one small thing that I would make note of is just the fact that I'm seeing that way too often and especially with very light weights. Now that doesn't mean you have to be a power lifter in order to get the benefit of a deadlift. However, for your safety and for your benefit, it's good to learn how to do it from a dead stop. It'll help keep you in good form and not allow something like fatigue get to the best of you and then you'll just try to churn out another rep or two when maybe you shouldn't, when things might start to fall apart, when your back might start to bend and curve in ways it's not supposed to so just just a little tidbit of info for that but otherwise here we've got the incline bench press and for me I did experiment by going on to the balls of the feet so I pulled my legs back a little bit more than usual and I can go in between going from flat footed to going onto the balls of the feet I like both styles honestly so I like either one this time I just felt like putting a little bit more emphasis on the balls of the feet and other than that just putting on some really fun long rest like that I'm just holding the bar on the chest I'm still engaged so if you if you look at that and think that I'm completely disengaged and relaxing I'm not I'm still completely dialed in it's just that there's no movement that's all and so it was just for fun I was a little bit motivated and so and it also will prepare me for the future leg of training, which will be, which will start to get difficult. When I reset back to sets of five, it will start to get a bit challenging now. And that's when it should. So I'm pretty much right on track, right on schedule. And that's absolutely fine. So 
even though this isn't the greatest of angles that I've used for the camera, I will put in some absolutely ridiculous pauses like that right there. This is a ridiculous pause, <laughs> but that's okay. It's it's fun. I get I get a lot of joy out of being able to do something like that. So is it necessary? Absolutely not. Is is it even a good idea as I go heavier and heavier? Probably not. But uh, when I can and when I know that I can, then I will. So that's for incline bench and for the accessory i went to a flat bench so flat barbell bench press just regular style nothing fancy nothing special i did a warm-up set of eight with 135 and then i did progressive sets that being said i wasn't planning on doing progressive sets the idea was just to stay at 185 for the three by eight however a gym crush showed up the main gym crush showed up so of course that just flipped the switch and said no 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 you are going to push it a little bit so get ready it's happening <laughs> so she totally totally inspired me to do that she uh, made her place right across from me a couple glances back and forth and yeah I did the first set with 185 for eight and even though my plan was to stay at 185 for straight sets I just thought no she's here she's watching I better not do that so I went to 195 for 8 and then topped it off with 205 for 8 and honestly that was perfect that was absolutely where I wanted to be in terms of rate of perceived exertion no worries at all with bar slowing down or bar path or anything like that so everything was good it just started to get challenging towards the end which is which is right where I want to be so big thank you to her for that <laughs> all right t-bar row so for the t-bar row i went with a set of 10 with 95 to warm up then a set of 8 with 120 and here we've got the 10 by 3 with 157 and a half pounds 90 seconds of rest in between sets and it was a good row day it was a good row day grip was never an issue so this bar using the 20 kilo bar really makes a difference with the knurling and so I have a better grip on it I have a better literally a better handle on the bar and the weight itself so good row day good row day everything felt pretty comfortable nothing felt off nothing felt off centered or anything like that so I'm pretty happy with it and I'm very curious to see where I top off with this lift so when I get to the point where I peak I'm just curious I'm not aiming for any specific numbers I just want to know where I end up so that way when I program in the future I'll have a really good sense of where to begin and what's appropriate for different reps different sets different volume and especially if I ever do decide to go heavy on the t-bar row I'll be just better prepared for it and ready for it but all in all good day for both main lifts and Part of that will come down to the motivation at the gym, but also just it was just a good day it, for incline bench. I really want to get into comfortable sets of 225 and above like it, I used to. And then it, when I do start to go back down to heavy singles, heavy doubles, then I can certainly go beyond that just like I did before and maybe even better than before. So with the T-bar row, good stuff. I'm happy with these reps. I wasn't going for a very long pause at the top. You will see some. You'll see some stoppages for sure and some slight pauses, but nothing out of the ordinary. And then for the other accessory, I did a pronated penlay row or just simply the standard penlay row. And I did the same weights. So I did a set of eight with 135 for a warm up and the same progression as the bench press so I did a set of 8 with 185 set of 8 with 195 and finally a set of 8 with 205 that said in the back of my mind I kinda wish I did another set with 215 but that's okay uh, maybe next time alright y'all thank you so much and adopt don't chop